Hi, I'm Will Menem here with the Cisco WebEx Tech Team. Today, I'm going to go over how to deploy SSO for WebEx Control Hub using Okta. As an important note, make sure to complete the following instructions during a scheduled maintenance window as this will affect user authentication to all WebEx services. First, navigate in Control Hub to your organization settings and then scroll down the page to the authentication section. Here, you'll see that SSO is currently deactivated. Click Activate SSO. First, you'll be asked what type of identity provider you're going to configure. For this example, we're going to use SAML, however you can choose to use OpenID Connect if you choose to. Next, you'll be presented with a pop-up window asking you to select a certificate. You have the choice of using a three-year self-signed certificate or using a one-year publicly signed certificate. You can choose either, however your choice may depend on the requirements for your organization. Once you've selected which certificate you want to select, select Download Metadata from the options at the bottom. In this setup, I'm going to use the Cisco recommended certificate, and then download the metadata. Once you have this metadata, we can go over to Okta, however, leave this window open. Now we need to create the application in Okta. Go to the Okta portal and select Applications. Then select Browse App Catalog. In the catalog, search for WebEx and select the Cisco WebEx application under the Single Sign-On section. Select Add Integration. Here you'll be presented with the general section of the app. You can customize these options if you want, however we can skip this and select Next. On the next window, you'll want to select SAML 2.0. We can leave the first part of the default relay state alone and scroll down the page a bit. Here we're being asked to enter in our SP information from WebEx. To do this, we need to open the metadata file that we previously downloaded from Control Hub. Here you can see my metadata as an example. Here. We're going to copy the entity ID and assertion consumer service URLs out of the metadata and put them into Okta. We're also going to change the application username format from Okta username to email since WebEx requires UIDs to be in the email format. Finally, click Done and you'll be taken to the Okta WebEx app landing page. Here, if you haven't already, make sure to assign users to the application so they're able to sign in. To complete the setup, select the single sign-on tab in the application. Here. We're going to copy the metadata URL and put it in our browser. You should be given a page that looks similar to mine. Here, we're going to copy this text out to our notepad and save this file with the extension .xml. Make sure the formatting remains the same as shown here. Now, we're going to return to Control Hub where we left off. Click Next and you'll be presented with the following options. Here, we're going to select Less Secure and then upload our XML file we obtained from Okta using the previous steps. Then, click Next. Here, you'll be presented with the just-in-time provisioning and SAML mapping configurations. We can skip this step and select Next. Finally, you'll be presented with the Test SSO Configuration section. Here, you could test your configuration to confirm it was deployed successfully. You could sign in using your Okta credentials, and if set up correctly, you should receive a single sign-on succeeded window, as shown below. Once completed with the testing, return to the Test SSO screen and click Next. If the testing succeeded, Select te Successful Test, Turn on SSO. If it failed, please select Unsuccessful Test and return back to the prior configurations to make sure everything was configured correctly. Select Save at the bottom of the screen and your SSO configuration is applied and enabled for use. You can confirm that SSO is working as you should be able to now see your IDP and SP certificate information displayed in the Manage SSO and IDP section of Control Hub and see that SSO is showing as activated. Your SSO configuration is now complete. Thank you for watching.